So hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to something that I uh, discovered yesterday which was quite, I wouldn't say terrifying but as an Xbox gamer um, certainly cause for concern. So when I powered my Xbox up yesterday um, I was confronted with just a black screen and I'm going to try and do I'm going to try and replicate that today uh, just to give you guys an idea uh, what went on. So I'm just going to quit out of this. And what happened was um, I powered my Xbox up and I'd been playing on it yesterday afternoon. Just pressed the button on the controller to power up the Xbox and it came up and I thought it had got stuck between loading midway through loading a game and um, just sort of coming back to the main menu and it was just like a pure blank screen and I pressed the home button and this home the home button came up on the left hand side of the screen and it looked exactly like that but I couldn't move anything I couldn't move the d-pad obviously none of this was here it was just a pure black screen and um, I couldn't actually change anything all it would do is the home button would come up and I'd be left with a black screen press the home button again and it would just come up at the side and I couldn't actually adjust anything I couldn't move through the menus so obviously I start to be a little bit concerned decided to power down the Xbox the usual way by just pressing it on the front and then I unplugged it at the back for about three minutes and then powered it all back up again it ran through the uh, cut scene at the start opening the Xbox One X uh, and I was again left with just a pure black screen and the same scenario whereby if you press the home button I couldn't move anything and as far as I've been told this is or as far as I've read this is called the black screen of death uh, aptly titled what a great name so Obviously I start to be concerned about what do I do, how do I get rid of this black screen. Obviously my Xbox is working to some degree, uh, I could still file a complaint, I could, my, my Xbox enrolled in the, um, I forget what the thing's called, but it's just, it, it sends details to Microsoft to help with problems and stuff. So I, I could, if I hold the button down, I can report a problem here. And I could still do that with it in its state that it was with the pure black screen. So it was still functioning to some degree. So let's, uh, let's have a look at how we solve it. So all I did was when the Xbox is on, I'll just reposition the camera a little bit. So from, from this point, the Xbox is on. And all I did was hold down the start button for about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna see if it gives me the same options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then just let go. And then at this point, what you're gonna do is in the, the left hand corner, there's the eject button. And you really need to make sure that there is no gains in this. So eject anything that's in there before you turn it off or it won't work. So yeah, if you, if you at this point, press the on button and then the eject button in the corner and the sync button for the controller in the bottom right. So just press the on button and then hold these two down. And then again, you hear the second da da da. So you'll hear the initial da 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 as you press the on button. And then you'll see here and another da da da. About 10 seconds after or five seconds after. And then you'll be confronted with this screen here. Now I've already done this with mine. So if you, if you turn on your controller, because that won't be on at this stage, you've got a few options to cho choose from here. And I mean, I'm just going to press continue because I haven't done, done this. So if you choose reset the Xbox, 
and it'll come up with whether you want to keep all the games and everything or the information that you've got stored on there or whether you'd like to do a reset which is literally as if you've got the Xbox from brand new and you're going to delete all the accounts and everything. So for me I just chose the uh, keep games and apps and everything else was stored in there and everything worked perfectly fine having done that. So I'm just going to continue at this stage. That's fine with my Xbox. And it's just going to go through the startup sequence. So for me, once it had gone through all this sequence, I was still left with an issue as to um, how do I resolve? What, why has it done this? So that's one thing that I'm going to cover in this next little section. And just while I reposition, this was what I came across uh, while I was finding what was wrong with my Xbox uh, yesterday. So if you want to just pause it there and have a little read, hopefully this issue is all solved. So what happened when it came up uh, for me, it didn't quite solve everything at this stage. Uh, when I went up into this menu here and I chose I couldn't, I could move left and right and I could go to the settings and I could choose settings but it didn't bring me to the settings menu. I don't know why, if this was still a problem with the Xbox when it suffers this black screen of death, uh, but it just came up with another black screen. So at that point um, I did exactly the same thing and I just pressed the off button on my Xbox, unplugged the power from the back left it for about 30 seconds, plugged it back in again, and then powered it all back up again. And it, it actually worked, it got me to this point. Um, but one of the things you want to do is come down to the video output. And in the video modes, there's this one here, allow 24 Hertz monitors uh, refresh rate. What you want to do is unclick that. So if you've got it clicked, uh, just unclick it, and that is supposed to be uh, the problem solved. Initially, it's, it's sort of like a reboot all to do with the resolution. And uh, when it came up, it was on its lowest resolution settings. So you just have to go back into here and change everything as to how you had it before. Uh, all your personal profile details and everything have been erased. Obviously, you'll have to go through. Um, set, it's almost like just setting it up from scratch again, really. You're choosing your time zone, what language your Xbox is using. You'll need to reconnect to your accounts. But once I've gone through everything, um, everything seems to be fine. Everything is loading up okay. I've not had any issues with it since redoing, getting rid of this black screen of death. I uh, had a couple of games on PUBG last night. Uh, no real issues. And so that's that. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're interested in the channel and the sim racing that I'm involved in, uh, please hit the subscribe button or for any other future content, if there's something else you might find on my pages, uh, please feel free to have a look around. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care guys and ciao for now.